Okay, this is uh, my first cha challenge I'm wanting to do. So it's a uh, set the production year to 1953 and or older, but nothing newer. That's one of the rules. Uh, right here in this first box, where your car is. Uh, Type in what challenge it is. It's 1953 winter. In the second box, type your username. Like mine is Yeshua Man 1983. Third box is the name of your car. And fourth box, you just leave it whatever it is. The you know the engine variant. You just you know have to put a name there. Uh, you know I understand if you don't want to enter this challenge. It's low quality video. I have my digital camera up to my monitor which is real low quality. I do have OBS but uh, when I try to use it it just drops the frame rates just so bad and cuts the mic out. It's just uh, my PC is just not powerful enough to handle this. It's not even powerful enough to handle turbochargers. So all my challenges are going to be natural aspirated. So yeah make sure it's natural aspirated. Well, of course, in 1953, there were no turbochargers. Uh, I do allow just like two mods. Like, if you want to do the 1940 Roadster or a convertible, or if it's called a really long car, you can. You can use V16 engines, which is not really a mod. Uh, you have to pay extra for that, but the, it will work fine on mine because I have a V16 engine in my car but no other mods other than that um, the second rule is well the third rule try to build the car with no blue yellow or red warning lights if you, if you can see right there my finger yeah there's no there's no warning lights I will allow some blue warning lights because this is difficult for me to do to, to build this car with no warning lights it's just hard on an old vehicle to do that so I'm going to allow some blue warning lights just try to get no warning lights if possible I, that's that's it just uh, there's no limit on production. Well, there is a limit on production in the units and the engine units and car units, whatever. Try to keep everything under five million. I think you should do good like that. Okay. I wasn't very creative with this name. I just put, you know, Owens, which is my name. That's my badge. Winter Storm. I just named the car Winter Storm, which is, you know, I didn't give a lot of thought in that. Just kind of built this car though, I put a little, little bit more thought in that. And, eh, build it any way you want. I'm not going to judge on, I will judge on style, but that's based on preference and what some people don't understand, like Noob and uh, Bashar. <clears throat> Bashar is that just because they don't like it doesn't mean it's ugly for everybody else. And you know, I don't speak harsh, harshly about things if I don't like something like they do. They try to hurt your feelings, but I don't. I'm, I'm very nice. You'll, you'll like me. Um, so one of the, the quirks that I did here is uh, I, put, <laughs> I put a headlight in the door right here. I thought it would cool, look cool to put some lights going across the door like that, and I kind of like black them out to make it look, I don't know. I think that's pretty cool. It's, yeah. And I never was good at designing cars. But why haven't my license plate? That's weird. Anyway, I had a license plate right there. And there's a graphical glitch right there where it just cuts the E in half. Yeah, since this is a winter challenge, you know, you may want to make a four-wheel drive. I, I really don't care. You can do front-wheel or rear-wheel drive if you want to. Um, 
Like I said, there's no, not a, not very strict rules at all. Uh, what I'm planning on doing with these cars is, uh, I'll first want to drive them up a icy hill. You know, see if they make it or not, which I, it will not count towards your score. Just want to see what they can do. So that's going to be on the video. And the other video is uh, I'm going to drive these cars around a course, the exact same course that Boost and Ethanol did. I thought that was pretty cool, and he came up with a good idea. Except for, you know, you're allowed with four wheel drive. And the reason why I picked 1953 is because. First, I was thinking of, you know, the winters that I seen when I was a kid, and, you know, growing up, and I started thinking, what was the worst winter I had? You know, I remember 1993 to 1996, we had some pretty good snowstorms, and 1999 was some pretty good snowstorms. And then in 2010 10 and 2014, uh, I got like 16 inches of snow, which was crazy. I mean, I, I, I don't even think any good for four-wheel drive, I mean, uh, a front-wheel drive car could get through that. You had to, you had to have four-wheel drive in that. Or a really good all-wheel drive. I, personally, I think four-wheel drive is better. Uh, so, anyway, 1953. I asked my dad, I said, Dad, what, what was the worst winter you ever saw? He said, uh, 1953. He said, the snow was so deep that my dad picked me up and threw me outside the door and and when I landed in the snow it was like waist deep and I, I laughed because I thought it was funny. And waist deep, I, well he's still a kid, you know, so he's born in 45. So you do the math, I guess he's 8 years old. 7 or 8, you know. Uh, but still waist deep, that's, that's more than 16 inches I suppose. He's kind of a short little fella too, but but yeah, I say it's more than 16 inches. So, a four-wheel drive is definitely will be a requirement for this. I mean, like I say, you can build it any way you want to. Um, how I'm judging this these cars is um, I'm judging them all where my notes go. I think I'm actually using my notes to prop up my camera. So, like and judging by you know like reliability and economy and cost and styling and safety oh uh, one more thing try to give me like 0 0.1 comfort points at least I know that's a silver roll see, see like uh, I'm getting 11.8 miles per gallon and stuff like that it's kind of silly and I'm getting making a whole lot of different things you know just but yeah safety reliability economy cost I'm not really judging on performance uh, yeah I'll throw it in somewhere I guess and there's some multipliers in there I won't tell you what they are because I want you to build the car the way you would build it you know for this challenge not the way that I, I want you to so we're going Try that and see how it goes. Okay, just to uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to remember the exact course that the uh, Bush and Ethanol took. I think there's a left-hander up here. I'm just taking my time. I'm... But yeah, I'm hoping to see which cars gets through is the fastest. Trying to remember the track exactly. I think there's a few left-handed turns somewhere. Holy cow! Maybe I should go back and watch this video. <laughs> but yeah, I just want a vehicle that's going good in the snow. You know, I think four-wheel drive would be best. You can build a two-wheel drive vehicle if you want to. Let me go aim a little bit more to the. That was the, the course that he took. I 
if I go a little further and then take a left. I don't believe it was the first left that he took. Oh boy, frame rate issues. My speedometer's not showing right. I don't remember the stop sign being here. And there's the main road. Kind of weird. Was this the same place that Boost did it? Okay, whatever. Just going to go up the hill here. Yeah, sorry for my lack of commentary. I'm just trying to think of things to say. Please constipate on driving. I don't want to break my constipation too much to wire wreck and stuff like that. Yeah, I, I have my, you know, four-wheel drive. Oh, that's the answer. Power, speed. I have my four-wheel drive system engaged, and I got my front and rear differentials locked. Oh, I clicked that stuff. Get straightened up. Come on, straight, straighten up, straighten up, straighten up, straighten up. So at some point or another, I think he took a left-hand turn. Ooh, I'm starting to slide over towards that hill. Oh, I'm going to hit that tree. And, you know, I'm going to take the cars to another track to uh, see if it goes up the hill or not, which that does not count to you towards toward the score. That's just me having fun. I think there's, is that the left hand turn right here? I don't remember. Anyway, I know that you start at the lake and you end at the lake. That's all I remember. And you see my low quality, my four frame rate and stuff like that. So here it is. So I understand if you don't want to enter this challenge and see such a low quality video, just pretend like it's the year 2002 and you have dial up connection and streaming rope you're, you're looking at low quality videos oh there's so many trees uh... oh yeah this this was the course right here I found it and I'm just sledding and sledding and sledding Still got brakes on, haven't come to a complete stop yet. <laughs> I like this map for winter, it's pretty cool. Alrighty then.